Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about CSS syntax. We know that CSS has properties, but what is the syntax of CSS? How can we write CSS? So in this lecture we're going to take a deep dive into this, this topic. But first of all we need some content and I'm going to say mental health matters so this is going to be some content that we have a title and then we are gonna you can see that we have linked our css file to our html file beforehand i'm going to do it again for you so the relationship is style sheet i'm going to say two dot css there we go so this is a href it's just the address or or path to our css file save that let's come here now First things first, I'm going to show you how you can create comments. Just do control and uh, forward slash. The comments look exactly like the uh, multi-line comments for SQL. We don't have any single line comments for HTML or CSS. This is single line and multi-line depending uh, on your perspective. If you just write something here like something like, um, C like CSS syntax, then this is going to be a single line but if you say like one then hit enter like two then like i'm just going to do this so one two three five uh, and this so it depends on your perspective it could be single line it could be multi-line and syntax basically refers to the code that we write in that specific specification so css has a specification we implement it within this environment of vs code and browser converts it to something that we can see on the in the browser that is the first thing the second thing is every css style has a css rule now a css rule is consisting of a css selector and a CSS declaration block. These are very fundamental stuff. So a CSS selector, the most common selector is the element selector or name selector. What does that mean? Element selector refers to selecting HTML elements by their name. Name selectors also refer to selecting HTML elements by their name. So I'm going to copy H1 and I'm going to put it here. So this is the first part of the CSS rule and that is selecting html elements the second part is a declaration block a declaration block is denoted by a pair of curly braces and then in between them you're just going to hit enter this is the common practice this is the best practice of writing css uh, styles now this part whatever you write here that i've highlighted this is called a css declaration block whatever you write in here is going to be a css declaration every single line is css declaration every css declaration is separated by a semicolon exactly like sql you have to separate it by a semicolon so let's say you want to increase the font size uh, the reason that i'm not actually typing the entire thing is because i have uh, emmet which is going to complete it for me so I don't have to waste too much time I'm gonna set it to 50 pixels let's save this let's take a look take a closer look at this declaration so again this entire thing this entire thing is a CSS rule then we have our CSS selector within the rule um, and then we have our CSS declaration block the CSS declaration block is going to contain CSS declarations. So this line is one declaration, and you saw the uh, the effect. And if you say color, then each declaration has a property name, followed by colon, then the property value, which in this case I'm going to say white, then semicolon. So they are, okay, not white, let's just say uh, teal let's just teal let's just save it and there we go so again again just one more time css rule this entire thing this part is css declaration block a declaration block a declaration block is going to contain uh contain css declaration uh declarations so block contains declaration css declaration each declaration has a property name colon property value semicolon 
and then on the next line you provide the next declaration then on the next line next declaration as many declarations as you would like and then you save you're going to see the changes this is the syntax of css see you in the next lecture